When the following equation is balanced, the coefficients are, so let's write down, here's aluminum, zinc, and chlorine. On the left hand side, there's one aluminum, one zinc, two chlorines, and then instead of rewriting the letters, we'll just put on the right hand side, there's one zinc, one aluminum, and three chlorines. Okay, so it looks like our aluminums and zinc are okay, but the chlorines are wrong. So we're going to use a crisscross thing here. To make two and three the same, we're going to multiply this chlorine on the left hand side by three. So we'll multiply that by three to get six. So let's put a three up here. And now how do I turn the chlorine on the right into six? I multiply it by two. So that'll get six and I put a 2 in front of here. Okay, so now let's see what we have. This 3 over here now gave us 3 zincs in addition to the 6 chlorines. This 2 gave us 2 aluminums. So here we are. So now what do we have to do? Let's see, aluminum, we need another one on the left hand side. All right, so we'll multiply this by 2. Now the aluminums match. Now let's look at the zincs. It looks like we have to take this, multiply it by 3. So we put a 3 here in front of the zinc. And now it looks like all the numbers check. And you can go through the top again. So two aluminums. On the right hand side there's two aluminums. Three zincs on the left. Three zincs on the right. Six chlorines on the left six chlorines on the right. So what do we have? We have two, three, three, two. So the whole trick there was cross multiplying the chlorines. So the answer is D.